let's take geometrical constructions in today's class we will see some of the problems how to solve in the geometrical constructions by using the drawing instruments here first problem is bisecting a line means dividing the given line into two equal parts okay i am taking for example i am taking the line 7.5 cm so first do the line ab line okay it is 7.5 here use pencil okay in the exam or in the drawing hall but here for visibility i am using the pen so first mark the end points initial point is at 0 here 7.5 okay it is a b point now after marking end points join these end, po end points like this okay mark capital a capital b this is our ab line okay. here how to divide this line take the compass okay these two ends should on the same plane like this okay here take the radius more than half this half means approximately like this more than half means just take some length by using the compass a yeah, as center i am taking a roughly like this more than half okay just do an arc at both sides of the line okay like this similarly take the same radius b as center cut these arcs previous arcs intersection points this point and this point okay mark those points c and d okay join c and d so always remember you have to do the entire diagram with pencil okay in the drawing hall as well as in the exam so join c and d okay so this line is called bisecting line or perpendicular bisector also we can call it. perpendicular bisector means which is 90 degrees to this given line okay so the intersection point is i am taking some e point okay mark with pen so that it is easy for you to get the point here so measure this ae length and eb length our main name is we are dividing into two parts two equal halves measure ae okay adjust the compass ae is it equal to eb okay so here ae is equal to eb okay and now how much length it is let us check by using the compass So it is between 3.7 and 3.8. Okay. So here this is 3.75. I am writing. If you are taking 3.75 plus 3.75, we are getting the 7.5. Okay. This is the method of bisecting a given line into two equal halves. Okay. Now take the next one. Bisecting an arc. Arc means it has some radius. Okay. So we can take any radius. Radius has not given. What I am doing means I am taking the compass. I am marking one point. Okay, here some O point. So O as center. Okay, take some radius, any radius. Just do an arc. Okay, I am marking some points, two points on the arc surface, A and B. Our arc is A B. Okay, A B arc. Now we have to divide this A B length or AB arc into two parts bisecting an arc take an arc is AB okay now here also follow the same pro procedure take compass take A as center take more than half of the radius half means it is approximately we can tell okay half uh, half is coming here here we have to take radius more than half okay like this is it more than half yes it is more than half just do an arc at both sides of the arc Similarly, take the same radius, don't change the radius, B as center, cut these arcs at both sides. We will get intersection points, here one point, let us take C, here one point, it is some D. Join C and D points, which are passing through O, okay, because O is the center of the, for this arc, okay. Now this point is, let us take some e point okay if we measure a e length it should be equal to e b length okay. we are dividing into two equal half so measure this length a e length by using the compass okay now measure e b also if it is same okay so this arc has we have divided into two parts 
now it is coming same a e is equal to e b okay here we have divided the given arc a b arc into two equal halves so this method is called bisecting an arc next one is dividing a line into equal parts okay let us assume one line is given a b line of some length okay a b line is given so let us take it is some 5 cm or i am taking let a bigger 10 cm line is given we have to divide this into some six equal parts so this is the example i am taking here we have to divide this ab line into six equal parts let us do first the draw the given line ab line if you are using the drafter do use the drafter scale for doing all lines so 10 cm mark the end points here at 10 1 point b point join ab now this is a this is b here we have to divide into six equal parts just do one inclined line okay this angle should be uh, less than 30 degrees okay take at some angle don't take bigger angle take the small angle line just do one line here see everything you have to do with pencil okay so for visibility i am doing with pen okay. so i did one line here after that take some radius any radius by using the compass so here we have to divide into six equal parts so with a as center whatever radius we are taking here small radius just do an arc on this line similarly this is the next center with the same radius previous radius do an arc with the same radius with this new center divide this line in, into one part similarly here one part so six like that we have to divide into six parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 what we did we did one inclined line okay and uh, we took some radius with a as center we have divided this line into six equal parts the centers are changing initially center is a after that this is a center okay after that this is a center like that we did how many parts six parts okay here i am taking i am giving the name 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay six uh, points i have marked here now join this sixth one to b last point whatever last point is coming to the end point of the line join with pencil like this okay now after that by using the drafter you keep one of the scale here and you do the parallel lines at all these points okay like this if you don't have drafter after getting this line just keep one of the set square okay set square side should coincide with this and take the scale okay keep the scale here okay keep tightly just till this on the scale okay at fifth point just do the parallel line okay now tilt on the scale just start four do the line okay make sure you should not tilt the scale here okay we are getting the parallel lines if you are doing like this this line is parallel to this this line is parallel to this at third one do the line similarly tilt it at second one okay do the parallel line here similarly tilt it here at one do the parallel line okay so you are getting the points here 1 to okay 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash here we got six parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 so six parts we got we will check whether those, those parts are equal length or not just by using the compass i am keeping at a1 dash similarly check this length whether it is same or not okay so it is also same and it is also same it is also same okay it is also same and here it is also same got six equal parts a1 dash is equal to 1 dash 2 dash is equal to 2 dash 3 dash okay is equal to 3 dash 4 dash is equal to 4 dash 5 dash is equal to 5 dash b okay we can check how much length it is already i took here this length so we can uh, check in the scale 
each one is 1.66 centimeters this is the process of dividing the line into some n number of equal parts these are the important problems in today's class in next class we will see some other problems how to draw the perpendicular line how to draw the parallel line in geometrical constructions keep watching thank you